Uh, so my background is fascinating. It's data analysis and application design, which for guys like me is, is a blast, but for most people, puts them to sleep. So in about 2006, um, we just felt like there was a big colossal disaster ahead, and we just thought we'd see what the rest of the world had to offer, so we quit our jobs and labored over it and moved to South America, and we lived in Argentina for about five years. It was one of those scratch your own itch sort of things. Uh, there was a need. We, I had learned a little bit of Spanish, but couldn't hold a simple conversation on the street. And I went looking for options and just realized there was this big gap in the market for post-beginner learners. Um, so we decided to create something that would address the needs of those people. And Luglab was born. Lugla, first of all, is short, uh, get it out of the way, is short for looking glass language in honor of Lewis Carroll, because he made language exploration fun, and we try to do the same thing. So Lugla deconstructs language learning, so we have instructors from all around the world. They create little lessons and activities, and then those lessons and activities blend into any web page you want. So the idea is you can really take your own interests and use those to learn a language, because that's really the best predictor of whether or not you're going to be successful at learning a language, and most people fail. More than building a business, we're, we're, it's a battle cry. We really want to make the world bilingual and make it a smaller, smarter place. Entrepreneurship is a lonely business, and I think the I think perseverance is the are the people who succeed, those who persevere. So uh, it's sometimes you wake up and you don't want to keep working, but you just gotta put your head down and keep going. So we came back to Reno for family, and a lot of people say you need to be in a startup hub to really make it work. You need to be in Boulder or Silicon Valley. So we were hesitant about Reno, but seeing the way the community is really bonded together and the way that people hold each other up, there's a lot of exciting things happening here, and there's still a long way to go, but Reno's definitely pointed in the right direction, and I'm glad to be here.